On Sunday, West Indies pulled off a pulsating one-wicket victory of the highly favoured Pakistan on the fourth day at Sabina Park. Chasing 168 for victory, West Indies dug themselves in and out of trouble on numerous occasions until the last pair of Roach and young Jaden Seals added 17 runs to seal the match. The third trio Roach, who made a chance fill but unbeaten 30, said the team should great fight and it will stand them good going forward. Yeah, you've seen the changes, you've seen a bit of more maturity. Um, some guys have had tough periods, but that happens in sport. But it's always the character that makes you come back. And there's a lot of character in this team. And you can see a lot more of these test swings. They're going to be nail biting. That, that's the way we have play the cricket. But at the end of the day, we get over the line. So that's what's important. So you're going to see a lot more of that from this time. As the guards the top seat of chase, Road said he knew the closer they got to the target, it meant the more panic for Pakistan. After T and me and Joshua started, the way we were taking it off slowly, um, there was a lot of self-belief. The communication was very good, as I said. Um, we had we executed what we wanted to do and we just trust the process and things were going it was tough, but things were going kind of smoothly. And then obviously he got out with a decent ball and then the lower order came in where I can and, and Jaden. And then it, obviously the roller coaster of emotions in terms of how to handle a situation. I've never been in a situation like that, um, battle with the tail and being the leader. So it was both communication and we just we just kept it simple, man. Defend your wickets and obviously look to, to do it in singles. If you get the odd boundary here and there, fine. But we just want to take it off 10 runs at a time, man. Once, once we knew we got close to the score, Pakistan were going to panic, and that's when the runs were going to come. So we just wanted to get as close as we could. And yeah, it, it's just one of those games, man. You just, you just go through the motions until, it, until you see it through the end. Additionally, Roach has backed the batsmen to come good after continued failures by most, noting they have been working hard behind the scenes. We don't have a huge pool of batsmen in the Caribbean, we know that. So you've got to believe in these guys. Um, they have the capabilities. We all know they do. Um, it's just about applying themselves and believing in themselves some more. I'm totally behind them. Um, we talk as boarders. We try to give them information on how best to handle situations from a bowling point of view. And yeah, they work hard, man. One thing about this team is a very hard working team. The camps we've had from, this, from the time of COVID come around, we've been having pre tour camps. and. There's a lot of work being put in behind the scenes. No one sees it, but it's a lot of work being put in. And yeah, I really feel for the batsmen because they know the work they do. And I know it's about time they get some returns so that people can see it. But that time will come. I'm sure. I'm sure it will come. So it's just about us, the team, and obviously the fans over the Caribbean. Just show some faith and just hold firm. I think this batting team will come around, come around much better soon. The second and final test starts in August 20 at Sabina Park. For the newsroom, Akim Green.